Hey, what's up? I'm going to be casting this tournament called the Go4 SC2 Cup Series, and it is sponsored by Steel Series. So I just saw this tournament. There's th these are the quarterfinals right now that these players are trying to compete against. This is the very beginning of the tournament, and uh, there's the semifinals, and then there's the regular finals, and this is just going to be ZBZ and these games are best of three for the quarterfinals and for the finals it's going to be a best of five so I was looking through the tournament and the replays and I do not know the results yet who wins but what I'm sure of it, or what I'm kind of confused about is how people are getting knocked out because there will some be some of the tournaments will have like a best of three and then one of them will randomly get knocked out but some of them who do lose and are still not knocked out which is what confuses me and I don't know I'll probably get it figured out I probably haven't studied it enough but I'm pretty sure the tournament's organized pretty well so anyways let me introduce these players we have a supply spawning at the kind of three I wouldn't say three clock position like Four, five-ish. Actually, six o'clock would be here. Twelve o'clock. I'm not good with my clock, so this is definitely six o'clock position. And this person is like one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll say like five o'clock position. So anyways, uh, this will be ZBZ, and in ZBZ, you gotta spread your overlords out across the map, so that way you know exactly where your opponent is, and on top of that, you will know exactly when they're going to move out, so that way you can prepare in advance. And ZBZ is one of those types of games where you need to stay on top, and it is incredibly laggy right now. Okay, there we go. The lag cleared up. So anyways, if you over drone in ZBZ, you will basically lose the game. It's all about who has the better micro. It's a very intense game usually. It just comes down to who slips up first or who has the better strategy in the beginning to knock out their opponent. Or who drones up too hard while the other player just gets a bunch of... Uh, attacking units etc and we can see their builds are pretty much exact except for orange who is getting a baneling mast immediately while the other player is opting to get a, his natural right away so we're just gonna have to wait and see how that's going to play out and he's going to get a spine crawler for defensatory purposes and uh, I like that he's probably doing this for, ran for random reasons he probably doesn't know what's up, but he probably scouted with this overlord that there's no natural, and he keeps seeing Ling's stream by, so maybe that's why he opted to get that spine crawler immediately. And he's probably going to transfer it to his natural, and it's going to be up to Eel. How is he going to hold this off? Because if we look at the income, actually he is not over -drowning. He's just one drone ahead. And he even sacrificed a drone to build a spine crawler, so I don't know what's up. But he doesn't have a baneling nest. He doesn't have a roach warren. There's no way he's gonna be able to hold off these lings and banelings because if he can send one ling at a time to each baneling, then that's going to be pretty amazing. And we have two queens in position to keep the block off, and that is a lots of banelings. And he is for sure going to lose this natural. And he's just like, screw it, I'm gonna go for the counter attack. But Orange already one step ahead, already bringing his lings back. And he has his queens ready, morphing in some banelings. And he's just gonna try to attack these. I'm not sure attacking. He was kind of lucky that they weren't done morphing. Otherwise, he would have lost, and he just lost the baneling right there. And he has his slings and queens in position. He lost this natural. And if we look at the income. Our green player is still ahead, but actually, I was about to say, if we look at the supply tab, that might say otherwise, but I was wrong. They're actually on the same supply, and if he's not careful, these links can just run by in, 
and that's exactly what they're gonna do these bailings are gonna come up and they're gonna pop on these slings and that was kind of a fail on eels part and uh, I would just I have to say most of his supply was just in those two queens up there that one extra queen and now it looks like he's going to lose this game I don't know what he could do he shouldn't have went for this natural uh, what's his name Acer just played that extremely well and he was able to uh, take this game really easily so congratulations on eels part and yeah, I should turn on my speakers. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be casting the next game. This is uh, best of three, so Eel has one more chance to make it happen. He can win, and we're just gonna have to wait and see.